For decades, Bill Nye has captivated our interest in the ultimate frontier and all its mysteries. He has introduced us to the vastness of deep space that surrounds us and extends infinitely above. Now, Bill Nye breaks the silence over the most recent photographs from the James Webb Space Telescope. These images provide us a glimpse of the universe more than 13 billion years ago, fundamentally altering our knowledge of it and perhaps even our perspective on life itself. The James Webb Space Telescope is making groundbreaking discoveries about distant planets, galaxies, and more. Webb is not only a scientific game-changer but is also heralded as a worthy successor to the Hubble Space Telescope. What are the JWST images that are defying expectations and theories? And what does Bill Nye have to say about them? Let's find out. Webb was the result of years of labor by NASA scientists and engineers. When it was launched on Christmas Day in 2021, the several steps of the telescope's deployment in the months that followed went off without a hitch. Within days of the telescope becoming operational in late June 2022, scientists started finding thousands of new galaxies that were older and farther away than any previously known ones. Some of these galaxies may have been discovered more than 150 million years prior to Hubble's oldest discovery. Furthermore, the telescope can gather enough light from celestial objects such as exoplanets and forming stars to show their composition and trajectories across space. Bill Nye claims that this data has already started to disclose in great detail the atmospheric makeup of planets hundreds of light years away from Earth, providing suggestions as to their potential ability to support life as we know it. One of the most recognizable views from the Hubble Space Telescope has long been the pillars of creation in the Eagle Nebula. While the spectacular clouds surrounding the building were visible to the telescope, which primarily detects visible light, the creation taking place within them was not. It has now been captured by Webb's infrared imaging in the form of many protostars. These clusters of dust and gas, each many times larger than our solar system, appear as tiny red dots against the smoky background of the pillars. They are stars in the process of birth. These young stars visible in the photograph are not yet consuming hydrogen. According to Bill Nye, as more material is drawn in, the center of the star steadily becomes denser until it is so thick that hydrogen burning begins, causing a dramatic increase in temperature of around 2 million degrees Celsius. Different colors were used to depict the largely invisible infrared wavelengths in the photograph. The only viewable portions of the image are blue to us, they would appear red. The wavelengths of the hues also rise with the radiation, with red portions of the image, such as the protostars, generating radiation at a wavelength that is around six times that of the human eye. According to Bill Nye, this image not only demonstrates Webb's infrared capabilities but may also shed light on the formation of stars like our Sun. The first exoplanets were found in the 1990s, and today there are more than 3,000 confirmed planets that orbit far-off stars. However, only about a dozen of these have been directly imaged. The majority of exoplanets are so far away that they can only be seen when their host star's light dims as the planet passes in front of it. Webb, however, is altering that. It took its first direct picture of an exoplanet in September of last year. The planet was identified in 2017 and given the name CHIP 65426b. Scientists utilized the telescope's coronagraphs, which excluded the light from the central star, together with two of Webb's cameras, a number of filters, and other equipment to view it. The planet has several characteristics that make it simpler to see. In addition to having outstanding sensitivity in the telescope, this planet is the farthest from its host star of any planet in our solar system, at 100 times the distance from our Sun to the Earth. It is a massive gas giant that is also incredibly big, about 12 times the size of Jupiter. Furthermore, even if the phantom galaxy is elusive in the night sky, its brilliance may still be seen, especially when photographed with Webb's infrared camera. The galaxy's beautiful spiral shape and its disbursement of stars' arms reaching outward from a radiant center are visible in Hubble's optical view of the object, also known as M74. However, a recent web image shows structures that resemble fibers made of heat-emitting dust and gas that emanate from a bright center depicted in a striking electric blue. The new image will illuminate the star-forming regions dispersed along the spiral arms of the galaxy in infrared light. The Hubble Space Telescope and Webb photos have been combined to create a stunning composite image that highlights parts of the galaxy's optical and infrared views. The composite image was produced by researchers at the European Space Agency ESA, as part of the FANGS International Project, which uses Webb, Hubble, and a number of ground-based telescopes to take infrared pictures of 19 nearby star-forming galaxies. With the addition of crystal-clear Webb observations at longer wavelengths, 
astronomers will be able to identify star-forming regions in galaxies, precisely gauge the masses and ages of star clusters, and learn more about the characteristics of the tiny dust particles roving in interstellar space. According to Bill Nye, Webb's recognizable diffraction pattern, an imaging artifact, was visible in a picture of a faraway star known as a wolf rayet star that was taken in July of last year, the W140. However, it is surrounded by a pattern that appears to be equally unreal, a ripple-like pattern of concentric rings with an odd, slightly boxy shape. The strangely shaped rings, in contrast to the diffraction pattern, are actual characteristics. Massive stars known as wolf rayet stars are nearing the end of their lives and have already emitted a significant amount of hydrogen into space. The interaction between W140 and its tiny companion star is what gives rise to the ring's peculiar shapes. Webb was designed to view the universe's farthest galaxies, and in mid-December of last year, researchers announced that they had successfully done so. The four known galaxies that were officially spotted by the telescope are also the oldest. Webb first noticed the galaxies 13.4 billion years ago when the universe was only 350 million years old, or about 2% of its present age. The four galaxies were thought to be extremely old, similar to the hundreds of other galaxies discovered by Webb. Researchers determined the galaxy's ages as part of the JWST Advanced Deep Extragalactic Survey, JADES, using information from the telescope's near-infrared spectrograph to determine how quickly the galaxies were moving away from it. The lengthening of light waves caused by the expansion of the universe is measured by the redshift of galaxies. The highest redshift ever measured was 13.2 for them. These galaxies are more than anything we could have predicted discovering prior to JWST. For the first time, we can now locate such remote galaxies with JWST and afterward verify spectroscopically that they truly are that far away. Meanwhile, Webb has made a planet circling a star in the constellation Virgo the focus of the most extensive extrasolar planet research to date. The planet's name is WASP-39b, and it's located 700 light-years from our home, approximately eight times closer than Mercury is to the Sun. This gas giant the size of Saturn boils as it orbits its host star. Though the planet's thick atmosphere is dominated by thick clouds containing sulfur and silicates, including sulfur dioxide, scientists were able to identify carbon dioxide in its atmosphere using Webb's main camera and two of its spectrographs. This is the first time the gas has ever been found in an exoplanet's atmosphere. The knowledge gained about the planet's atmosphere also allowed researchers to draw conclusions about some aspects of its genesis and history. The planet is thought to have formed much farther from its star than it is now, as a result of the collision of smaller planetesimals, as evidenced by the fact that it has more oxygen than carbon in its atmosphere. Furthermore, Saturn's moon Titan is an odd and fascinating place. Liquid methane and ethane form the moon's rivers, lakes, and seas, and water ice forms the rock on the moon. Methane clouds can be found solely on our moon, which has the only dense atmosphere of any moon in our solar system. Scientists first caught a glimpse of these clouds in November of last year when Webb gathered atmospheric data from the odd moon. Researchers using Webb to investigate Titan expressed their joy upon obtaining the data in a NASA release. They eventually discovered that the telescope had actually recorded two clouds, including one above Kraken Mare, the largest sea on the moon. The group was so fascinated that they got in touch with Hawaii's Keck Observatory, which was able to study Titan just two days later. The cloud over Kraken Mare is there in the Keck data, but it is of a different shape, indicating that it either changed or another cloud migrated into the same location. The team anticipates using information like this to map Titan's haze and identify new gases in the Moon's atmosphere. What is the Southern Ring Nebula's secret? The nebula has never been regarded as particularly remarkable by scientists. According to one theory, the nebula was merely a white dwarf, a dying star that had evacuated its outer layers, which shine brightly because white dwarfs emit energy waves. The dying companion star of a binary system was partially hidden by the brightly illuminated atmosphere, as was known to scientists. But Webb's breathtaking image of the nebula, which was made public along with its initial images and data, made it abundantly evident that it wasn't that easy. Two of Webb's equipment, the near-infrared camera, NIR cam, and the mid-infrared instrument, MIRI, captured an image of the cloud. With MIRI, researchers discovered two additional stars, one white and one red, within the main, brightly lit atmosphere. They were both white dwarfs, which is unusual. The fainter red dwarf, which is only visible to MIRI and NIR CAM, is likely the system's original star. Webb has significantly advanced our knowledge of the universe since it went live in June. 
This has raised the potential that we may one day discover life on other planets. The telescope has discovered signs of water vapor in the atmospheres of other planets in addition to WASP-39b, possibly suggesting that they could support life. These advancements are giving us fresh perspectives on the genesis and evolution of our own planet. Although scientists still need to conduct a lot of research before they can fully comprehend the data from Webb, it is clear that the telescope is an effective instrument for research into the universe. The capabilities of the telescope have only been demonstrated by Webb's initial discoveries. The photographs are both astounding and lovely, providing a peek into the universe's beginnings and the potential life of other planets. The telescope is now poised to completely transform our knowledge of the universe as it goes forward. As astronomers all around the world eagerly await further web data, only time will tell what additional discoveries it will produce. One thing is certain, though, the James Webb Space Telescope is a game-changer, ushering in a new era of space research. Bill Nye and other scientists are thrilled about the knowledge Webb will uncover in the upcoming years. The telescope is assisting us in understanding our own origins by showing us things we've never seen before and illuminating the mysteries of the universe. It is an exhilarating moment to be alive, and the James Webb Space Telescope is paving the way for new generations of cosmic exploration.